Hello everyone, welcome back into my YouTube channel. This is Taradra, and this is our City Skylines tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna be covering the scenario that people are having the most problem with, and that is fixing the traffic. This is Apple Town. It has a wind condition to have a traffic flow over 82%, a population over 35,000, and you lose if your population drops below 25,000, or if you play for at least 200 in-game weeks. Now this can be very challenging if you don't know what you're doing. We're gonna jump into it, we're gonna hit pause, we're gonna look over the whole thing, I'm going to show you how I do it and I wish you the best of luck in how you do it as well There's a couple of key fundamental factors that you need to understand when it comes to traffic management for a city Now if you know another city skylines youtuber named Biffa He will tell you to just put roundabouts everywhere. That's not that's not how you fix traffic traffic fixing is comes down to Redundancy as long as you create redundancy your city will be happy if you notice here, there is no redundancy. These roads end with nowhere to go. There's only a few places that people can get to things. The interstate only has one way in and out. It's, it's, it's horrible. This is redundant, but this is over redundant. And things just have too many dead ends. So right now we've got $50,000. Can we take out loans? If we can take out loans, that would be ideal. And let me show you what we can do with the game paused with $330,000, okay? First thing you want to do in this city is go into your layers, go into your traffic routes and your junctions, and you want to turn off every single stoplight that you see. Stoplights in city skylines are a plague. They do not improve traffic. They just make intersections look pretty. So if you want your intersections to look pretty, you can continue to having stoplights. If you want a beautiful traffic city, you do not want stoplights. If you make your city work with them, more power to you, but in this scenario, I strongly suggest turning them all off. Now we're not using any mods, which is why I can't just click one button to turn a bunch of stoplights off. You gotta go through here and do it manually. This also gets you into the habit of seeing where intersections normally have stoplights. It's usually on the large format roads, four and six lane. City Skylines puts them in automatically when you make an intersection. We got those taken care of on that side. Let's go ahead and take care of the ones on this side. Another thing missing in this city is a, is a sense of cohesiveness. Like the whole city is just fragmented. Fits and pieces are strewn all over the map. We're going to be building a corridor, a bypass corridor that runs around the entire map to connect everything together. Look at this. There's no connection here. We're going to be deleting this road. We're going to be deleting this entire overpass because it doesn't make any sense. And look at this. Look at this nightmare. We're actually going to be leaving this in. We don't even need to change this at all. We just got to get rid of the stoplights. We'll leave this entire feature in the city and we're still going to beat it. And it's going to be beautiful when it's all said and done. So we'll take these out. These one ways are atrocious. One ways are good if used correctly, but if they're like just in one random area throughout the entire map, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, we got there. Got rid of the stoplights. Good. Game is still paused. Here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna get rid of this, this, this horrible, horrible interstate interchange. We don't need it. This doesn't need to be an interstate over here. We can get rid of the whole thing. So we're gonna delete it. Bulldozer. Freeway, gone. We're gonna take out this. We're gonna take out all of this. All the way to there. Take away all the elevated interchanges. We don't need them. These interchanges, although the intent is correct and they can be used well in other places, they do not work well here. Beautiful. I like the way it looks already. Now, since we have a node here from the interstate, we're going to build a six lane road. We're going to take advantage of what they've already given us and we're going to enable the ability to have a nice, beautiful road here. I'm going to straighten it out. And then we're gonna come straight out to here and have that deal with the interstate. This'll be an on-ramp. This'll be an off-ramp. 
then we can have this curl around and do the same thing. So we'll one, two, three. Touch there, touch there, touch there. Come around. And then we'll pop this off and do the same thing. One, two, three. Curl it around, touch there, touch there, touch there, and boom. So there's our interchange for that. That fixes this problem entirely. We're gonna take these, this is another, that's a four lane road with a median. We're gonna use that in the spirit of using it. Where is it? Four lane road right there. We're just, we're just gonna continue using this. Um, there's no connection there. Let me delete this back. I don't mind continuing to use these roads. We're gonna cross here, make an intersection. We're gonna cross here, make an intersection. Uh, we gotta connect those two roads together. This is where the, the fragmentation is that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's a one way there with no connection that was earlier from here. We'll do a connection there. That's fragmented. I'll delete that. I'll try to leave most of the city the same, but we've gotta we've gotta fix these issues. So there's an intersection, there's an intersection. We could put an intersection here maybe. Let me put these roads together and we'll go from there. And then I can go out to here with a four laner. This is dense commercial. Dense commercial, you almost don't need any of it. It really does put a number on your soul after a while. So that takes care of that. What I wanna do next is we're gonna take the stoplights out that we just created here, because <clears throat> it puts them in intersections. So we just made a bunch of intersections with four lane and six lane roads. So we're gonna take all these out. It also gives us more space to zone. We'll be able to take care of that and take advantage of that here very soon. That fixes one problem. We're still paused, by the way. The game is not running. I'm going to go and get rid of all of the one-way roads. These one-way roads are not needed in any capacity right now with this city. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Go look for more. We're gonna get rid of these. This just, this just creates a nightmare. Need traffic circles or whatever. We're losing some buildings, but we're not losing population. Once we start losing residential houses is when we start having an issue. There's no one ways here, there's no one ways there. So the, uh, everything on the left side of the interstate is now pretty much, I would say 60% of where I want it to be at the end. This industrial is gross. Let's delete this interchange like I said I was going to. We're gonna delete this interchange. We'll probably delete this entire interstate because we don't need it. Uh, we could delete it all the way up to probably about here. Let's delete it to there. And we'll just make this, we'll just fix this. Cause this is, this is a joke. This is a joke. Now I've been playing for a long time so I can kind of see where the problems are and the inconsistencies are. If you're new to the game, you might not realize that this is very, very bad for what you're trying to accomplish. Just know that it, it, it is a mess and we are working on solving the issues right now. I'm gonna go back to the six lane road again. Six lane roads are nice. We're gonna start building off of this four lane. We're gonna follow the same path we did here on the interstate. And we're just gonna come right here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Curl it out right there. And then we're gonna have off ramps go that way and an on ramp come this way. That's gonna be the extent of the six lane. We're gonna bridge a connection here. We might lose a couple of houses. I'm okay with that. This isn't the most ideal. Let me, let me, let me see if I can't just pull it off just by doing this. Sure, little S curve there. I would like to make this one connection and connect it via there. I would like to take this and connect it here. That takes away a couple of houses and then we got to turn all of this into one-way roads So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna s around And connect right there This four lane is gonna come over here and terminate into this road This is us creating redundancy I'm gonna turn all of those one to one ways into two ways and we have to take all the stop lights out that we just created So we're going over here into junctions. We'll take these out 
there wasn't one made there which was beautiful go over here to our one ways or two ways not with trees because this is industrial and make them all stinky and brown let's just do this now these are all these, these are all things you can do while the game is paused once it unpauses everything should come back to normal kind of pick back up and there might there might be a little dip in population it might get a little angry at us but at the end of the day it's going to be so much better all right check for more one ways i don't i don't think there are any more i've done this scenario quite a few times uh there's that roundabout there i'm gonna leave that one there do we check for stoplights here yeah i got rid of all the stoplights there's some water waste there's some power lines okay let's build the bypass that connects everything uh let's see we got a high school here can we turn at this high school and not hurt anybody i don't think so no we have to relocate that high school i would like to relocate you please i'm gonna put you right over here on this side slope too steep there you go the school's still there relax i'm gonna come down here straight across we're gonna connect there that's a bypass then we're gonna grab from here i would like to go straight to that elbow joint there we're gonna curl around up the hill do it do, do like almost a 90 and then terminate right there that is another connection we're redundant i would like to take this and just kind of go straight into there and create redundancy which means we can break off here. Where are we taking this one? Let's go. Let's go straight from here all the way around to there. Then we can take this. Where can I go with this? We can go multiple different ways. Let's go around this high school into there. We can bring this straight across and into there. This is this is creating multiple connections. That way people can get to different places without having to kill themselves. This needs to turn. I would like it to go there. And then from here, we can break this down to the residential zone there. That'll create some redundancy. We can have this road kind of curl around and hit there for redundancy. These need to connect. Buy houses, I'm sorry. That way we have some redundancy there. This industrial zone needs to connect. So we're gonna break off one of these roads here. If I can, can I? There we go. We'll go down through here. I'll build more houses over here. That's why I'm doing this. We'll have a connection there. This needs to go over to here this one can run into here this one can run into here then we can run this road over to here connects the industrial to the residential that way they can go back and forth to work so this is this is all but done now i want to get a connection from here to here that way they don't have to go to the interstate to get to the other side of the city because that's silly as well and we can redo this entire interchange because that interchange looks looks horrid so let's go underground. We, we got to go underground. So I'm going to take this four lane road right here. I'm going to go straight. And we're going to go underground right there. This one, I'm going to go underground just like that. It's going to pass right through and there's one connection. I'd like to make another. So let's see if I can't come off here and go underground I can and then this one here can go underground okay there's two connections there that connects the industrial to the other industrial and then this interchange here is just a, a, a goofy mess uh, do I want to leave it that way though let's see off ramp on ramp on ramp off ramp I don't like underground things so that's an off ramp and an off ramp. So there's no on ramp here. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this. Goodbye. 
I'll leave that four-way there. It can do whatever it needs to. Delete this. Delete this underground off-ramp because I don't believe in it. I do not believe in underground off-ramps. And then we've got an off-ramp here. That looks beautiful. We've got an on-ramp here. That looks awesome. So then we need to connect off and on here. So from here, we can go this way. One, two, three. Curl around. And then we're going to snap one, two, three. There's our connection there. And then this other one, I, I guess we'll come off here. I really don't want to. But I'm trying not to disturb the industrial that's already on this part. I guess it doesn't matter. Because it'll, it'll regrow. That's not letting me do it. Will this let me do it? That'll let me do it. One, two, three. So we'll go one, two, space already occupied. Why? Oh, because it ramps up higher? Okay. Uh, up, up, ground, please. I'm going to have to take this and go up two. There we go. And then back down. And on there. So there's our interchange there to fix that side. Let's check for our bypass all the way around here. I would like to connect these two roads. I would like to connect these two roads. I would also like to connect these two. And then I would like to come this way. And I would like to come this way. This also generates more neighborhoods, which we're gonna add some more houses here in just a minute. I would like to add some more neighborhood houses here and then terminate right there. Residential roads, it doesn't matter how weird and convoluted they are because there's gonna be less traffic here. These right here can be made into redundant roads. As long as they connect, I don't care what else happens to them. This is all about traffic improvement. 101. I kind of want to put an interstate interchange here, but I feel like we might shoot ourselves in the foot by doing that. So I'm just going to connect them all for now. I'm going to run a road here. That kind of does this and then we'll just terminate this here terminate this here go there fine i'm okay with all of that this can cross a bridge and connect there that's a one what on earth no that's the one way that needs to go away. We'll come this way. And this is just going to be like a road that runs right next to the interstate, because why not? And I want it to run all the way to here and just go out to that four lane. This four lane here. Can I, can I get it yes, past the high school? I can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I move the high school over? I probably can. Relocate the high school to here, please. Beautiful. I know everybody complains that it has, just relax, just relax. Everything will be great. I can't really, what is here? Just commercial in a park? Yeah, we can get rid of that. I'm not really interested in entertaining that. We can move this playground back over here. Move this over to here. That gets our connection. That's redundant now. The back side is not. Uh, let me kind of do the same thing I did before on the other side. I'd like to go there and then have this curl out. There's a mountain that we're climbing down. Um, kind of want to terminate it there. So we spent about 200,000 so far, but it's okay. Cause zoning is free. 
We're going to address some of the needs of the city. And then everything should just click on and just take off like a rocket. I do want to build a road here. And I do want to build a road that goes this way, like that. Even though there's an elbow joint there, it's still not ideal. It's still better than nothing. Take this road, terminate it here. Any loose roads. We're just going to terminate. We're going to finish the sequence and connect them. Everything here looks pretty much connected. All the neighborhoods are great. This isn't connected, but I'm going to leave that alone. We really don't need to make any changes there. Uh, this looks like it has a way in and out, which is happy for me. Everyone should be great there. This one has a place in and out. Let's go check for stoplights one more time, and then we're going to do a zone cleanup. What I mean by that is when well, we've put in some roads, we've deleted some houses, and we've deleted some buildings, and it left some little parts and pieces of zones there. So we're going to get the paintbrush out, and we're going to repaint those zones. Then I want to check general level of all the buildings around to make sure that they're all taken care of. Or if they're missing something, we can plop it in with the last 100,000 that we have. We do not have a money part, right? No, we don't have a money part. So as long as we're at zero, we're fine. But we're making an insane profit in this city. So we've got something good going for us here. I just want to make sure that there's, there's not a lot of stop lights, stop signs, because that causes traffic issues. We're trying to increase the traffic up as high as possible. Our current traffic flow is 63%. This is before I've unpaused the game. So our traffic flow is abysmal, which creates a demand deficiency. Your city's growth depends very much so on the amount of traffic that you have in the city. So if there's a lot of unhappy people, or if there's a lot of traffic, you're not going to have a very happy city. You're going to have a lot of unhappy people. That is horrible. I don't like that idea going into the residence, but I don't have a choice at the moment. We can get rid of that. Okay, I think I've gotten rid of all of them. So we're going to go. Oh, no, don't go just yet. No, stop, 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 stop. Power lines. Make sure all of our power is taken care of because we've cut some power lines to some people. Do I need a power line here? Uh, do I need a power line here? I don't. Why do I have a power line here from over there? They're all connected. There's a connection there, and it's all connected. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this power line. If anything, that water there needs power. And we'll change where it's getting its power from. We can bring a shorter power line from the other end and be just fine. So this one's going to come from over here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this way. Perfect. That one's fine. Let's bring this back down. Check for power here. There's no power there. So I'll get power to the water. Hello? Oh god, there's a building there. We'll get power to the water via that. Everything's great through here. Everything's good here. Let's check for fragmented zones. So let me grab my paintbrush here. We're just going to go ahead and put these houses here like this. We're gonna paint out just a little farther than normal. That way some houses have some, some shake room. People can move in if they want. I don't know why you'd wanna move out here, but you never know. I'm gonna put light residential here and not dense only because I don't want the I don't want the population to get too heavy too quick because we have to address surface service deficiencies. We'll take out some of that color over here. Fill these out. Okay, what do we do down here? We broke that. So I'll put that back in and put that house over there. We've got a little bit of block there we can fill in. I'll go ahead and fill this in and fill that in. Right after I said I wasn't going to do any heavy residential. I'm over here putting in heavy residential. Hashtag hypocrite. Uh, there's industrial zone next to residential zone. I'm going to dezone that. We don't, we don't need that there. Not that close. Definitely not that close. That's fine. These are fine. I'll come over here and put some, I don't know, some light offices maybe. 
I really don't want to go too crazy if I can help it. We'll do that there. I just realized there's no music playing. I'm sorry. It's okay, we can listen to the, the, to the sights and sounds of the awesome city that we just tore apart. I wouldn't really say we tore it apart. We, we, we really made a lot of changes to it that I think are going to be positive. I'm going to get rid of that because we don't need that. We broke some of the commercial here. We don't need to really fill in a lot more commercial. The commercial is going to take care of itself over time. This industrial here is okay. That commercial's fine. we got to put a little bit of office over here. I'll fill that in. Houses are good here. There's a commercial buffer. That, yeah, people aren't going to want to live there. I'll take that out and put in some commercial here, just as a buffer for future expansions. I do want to put houses over here, though. So we'll paint up houses here. They can move to the side of the city. There'll be some little dinky houses on this end. I'm okay with that. Fill this in. Give them somewhere to move to, because we're about ready to kick a lot of them out, and I feel bad. Okay, residential's filled in through there. Industrials here. I feel like we're good to go. Let me fill all of this in with industrial. All around the corners. Right there. We really need that power line? We don't, right? We can get rid of that. We can wholeheartedly get rid of that power line. I think, yeah, it's got power all the way through there. So we'll get rid of this power line. Get rid of that power line. We gotta create some redundancy there. I don't like I don't like roads running out from an industrial zone. If it was anywhere else, I probably wouldn't care. But the fact that it just goes out and just stops is really really bad. Uh, we probably created a stoplight there. Let's get rid of the stoplight. No, we did not. Awesome. All right, I think we're ready to hit play. I think we're ready to hit play. So let's go. Play. I'm going to speed it up just a hair. We're going to see some initial shock. We're going to see some initial population dip. But we're also going to get to see the traffic clean itself up and see what people are really crying about because we need to take care of the services. We need people to have their trash collection. But we don't know what they really, really need yet until the traffic is repaired. So let's make sure there's no like big power outages anywhere. You've gained 300,000 money because we got the traffic fixed up. So now we're at 412. That road says it's flooded, even though it's not flooded. I don't think there's any issue with it. Let's rebuild it. We can rebuild it. I don't mind. I'm going to leave it the same elevation and then just curl it down there. That, that works. I don't want it to flood. So our traffic was like 60 something percent. What are we up to now? We're up to 78. Okay, it, it'll continue to improve. All of these vehicles that currently exist in the city are existing with the old format. Once that kind of gets rinsed out, it should fix itself. It shouldn't be as bad as it is right now. A lot of these are cars left over that we're getting from this side of the city to that side of the city. But now that they have these roads right here, they can get in and out on. You can see them being used. And as they move on, things should get easier. What's going on over here? <clears throat> okay. So I don't want to run too many weeks before we don't take care of any issues that people have. So while this is happening, let's see. There was a lot of trash complaints before. All those trash complaints seem to be gone. Let's check education. Let's build some schools so we can benefit from some elementary schools. We'll pop some in ever so often. Just until we get some smiles for miles and get a positive going. High schools are gonna be the same way. We've got plenty of money. So don't worry about that. Don't let that throw you. High schools. Mm, let's see if we can't put one over here. This will also help us out with electricity reach to other places around the map. Can I put one here? Slope too steep. I really don't want to put any landscaping money into this if I can help it. That's going to be way too far away from like actual people. 
And then we can put a university probably here next to it. Let's do that. The slope is too steep. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Give me give me the university pop. I can put it here? Okay, I'll put it there. Alright, check our water. Water's covered throughout the entire map for the most part, which is great. I love that. I'm gonna bring it over here because we put some zones here. I'm also gonna cover this road. That's gonna take care of that. Does this have power? It does not. I'm gonna bring down a line from this part here. Look at the traffic. Look how much it's improved. What are we up to right now? 82%, which is where the scenario wants us to be. And we're gaining population. So now that we have the resident covered, let's check fire hazard. Fire ha hazard is high. So we can build some more fire departments. We'll put one there, we'll put one over here. This will make folks happy. These are expensive. We might run ourselves out of money doing this. Capital city, bam. That gives us even more money. These people are complaining that they're sick. Uh, we can put a hospital over here to kind of help ease that. It's all, it's all noise pollution though because of the interstate. So there's really no way for me to fix that currently. Low land value, a park will fix that. Let's throw a Paradox Plaza over here. Maybe even two. Kind of get that land value on the rise. We'll put one over here as well. Make them happy, make them happy. As long as we can level up what we currently have, our population is going to grow and spike. So increasing the land value by placing these parks is going to be the best thing that can happen to us. We got plenty of money for that because these parks are inexpensive. So pop this over here. Make these peeps happy there. You can see them coming in, going around doing what they need to do they're complaining about low land value we can go into our policies and turn on high-tech housing that will actually help encourage biking will reduce traffic we can come over here and do an education boost a park and recreation boost a recreation boost to make them happier that'll bring down some traffic i should also start leveling up some houses these guys here are complaining of low land value. What don't they have? Uh, we're losing money. We're losing population. What is going on? How are we losing so much? Is it a death wave? Might be a death wave. They have fire coverage. They have police coverage. Hmm. Okay, they seem to be okay now. It's on the rebound. Let's check pollution. Water pollution is zero. Okay, good, good, good. Let's check our water usage. Water usage is getting close. Let's build some more water towers. We got these big, big boys now. Let's run one of those. That should take care of water availability. Boom, spiked, done. As far as water waste is concerned, we'll throw, let's do some inland water waste. And we can put those over here. So we'll go, we'll go one, two on that. And get those hooked up. That'll take care of sewage treatment. Awesome. Now we got plenty of water to go around. How's the electricity looking? Electricity is looking fantastic. What are, what do we need? Increase the value of the land. Okay. Uh, do we have death care over here? We don't. So a nice little cemetery on the hill would probably help. Cemetery on the hill. Okay, I'm gonna flatten this land out here. Uh, it might break us. No, I think we're fine. Cemetery on the hill? Boom. Crematorium, right next to it. That'll give them more coverages. Police station is there. Let's put another one over here. Fire stations. We can put one over here on this end and put one over here on this end. That'll make them happier. 
The land value has been increased. Let's check over here on this end. They're not complaining anymore. Police. Police Navidad. We can put a police station over here. That'll make them happier. Uh, that off ramp is bad because it comes right off and goes right over. Maybe if we made some more redundancy. Let's build some more redundancy. Uh, hmm. Because that's like the only way in and out right now, currently, isn't it? There's a lot of cars there. Is there a stop sign there? No, but that's a mess. Let's see. What can we do about that? Where are they coming from? I guess they're coming from here to go across there. That's not good. Let me build an underground road here. Let's go like this. Nope. Can I stop? You do this and go underground. Nope. Hmm. I could start an underground road here, though. And just have it pop up above ground. And then go underground. Have it pop up here and connect. That would do that and make these people move in. We're going to take a population hit, but that's okay. How many weeks are we in? We are 15 weeks in and we're almost there. All right, let's keep going. We have an industrial demand. I'm not ready for that yet. Cars are starting to use that road, which is perfect. That should start taking traffic away from there. I can probably do another underground road here and have it connect here as well. Let's do that. So underground we are. Popping it up to here. That's perfectly fine. It's going to be a little janky, but it should work. We're trying to reduce the amount of cars coming off of this ramp from the other side of town. Sweet. There goes an emergency vehicle using that road. Exactly how I wanted it drawn up. Houses have moved in all around, which is great. We could take this road here and expand the industrial zone over here. That's water waste. We don't have to worry about anything there. Let's build a redundant road connection here. And then I want to do this. And go industrial. Just like that on both sides I don't want that just want to color all the little pieces all the way across it has water it does go nuts my friends do we have fire coverage over here we have five thousand dollars we need some money so we gotta sit here and stew for a bit and make some funds we've almost gotten the population requirement where's our traffic at Traffic is at 86. So as soon as we hit 35,000, we'll have this thing done. I'm going to speed up just a hair. Looks like we've taken care of the biggest problems here. We solved the traffic in the middle of town. We got the interchanges looking nice and smooth. We've cleared this up to keep that from happening as bad as it is. All we need now is to hit 35,000, which we're getting 150 people a week. That should happen here very, very soon. beautiful we left this feature alone like i said that's not really a problem that's more of a waste of money and a waste of resources than it is anything else i would not advise doing that that just makes your city look very very bad and very very concrete that's not what you want like this is actually a beautiful feature this is like a central park kind of area i, I like the way it looks i like the way it's laid out the houses look really nice on either side of it I, I even think this over here was nice looking. We, we got the bigger houses overlooking the smaller houses on the hill. There, there are some very beautiful parts of this city. And once you get it all connected and get the roads making sense, it's really not bad looking in the grand scheme of things. We didn't have to buy extra tiles. We, we didn't have to do anything crazy. We just made them happy, made the traffic less. And I think right about here, we'll be dinging at 35,000 and that'll give us mission credit done give it to me got it and that's how you do it it's easy peasy 
If you got any questions about how to fix traffic, let me know in the comments, or you can come by my live stream. I stream five days a week. We do City Skylines on Fridays and Saturdays, but you can come by anytime and ask these questions. I do not mind answering them. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna put this in my Discord channel. We have a City Skylines channel in our Discord. That way you guys can come by and pop it in if you want and see what was made compare it to yours, or you can even submit your own for me to look over if you want, just for funsies. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe. May your cities be well and your traffic flow smoothly. Have a great night, you guys. I'll see you next time.